RKGPDX, and I think it has Pac. I think Pac Man's a playable character, but I'm not sure. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. here it is. Pac-Man's right next to Boo. Yep. That being said, game one of Winners Finals, we're going to be seeing Mousecut and Beast. Uh, not going to lie, on paper, this sounds pretty tough with Charizard. Pikachu stays in and he stays in, and then he can also keep Charizard out with all of those two jolts. But all Beast needs is two really good hits, and uh, that's a dead rat. Yeah, this is definitely uh, against Charizard's type advantage. Uh, neither of his types really help against electric types. Mm -hmm. Uh, but he is a he is a fully evolved Pokemon, so he has a pretty high attack stat overall. So he might be able to overcome with that. Uh, his vitality is not the greatest, though. My animosity for you only grows, helping. That being said, <laughs> my respect <laughs> is turning into disgust. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that down beat unfortunately sending the other way. Not able to kill Beats quite yet, but he panic buffers a neutral get up. Gonna get up right into that F smash. And this is quite the leap for Mousecutter that he only taking 20%, a negligible amount for this boost stuff. This is a much better advantage. Uh, I think, I believe grass types actually have oh a Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna lose it! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, it's really interesting. Like, Mousecutter really has had these kind of up against the ropes. Like, this whole match so far. Uh, just because his character has like such good movement, if he was willing to use Squirtle, uh, he might be a little bit better off, even with the type of Oh edge. my god. Remember when I said Beast just needs to breathe on Mousecut and he would die? Well, there you go. You missed one tech on Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're going to be losing your stock. There's no way around it. Yeah, no, Beast was like, oh, you missed tech and I jab block? Time to die, my guy. Mm -hmm. It's a terrifying situation to be in for sure. Yeah, and like you'd survive it if you uh if you're cognizant of the fact that he's going for it. Uh okay, Mousetrap is alive. Mm -hmm. So we had like a wacky battlefield theme on. Ooh, what a nice tech. tech. An impeccable tech. An impeccable. 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 Unteckable? Nah, not here. This is impeccable. Yep. Absolutely not. Nice. Yeah, give me that fire I like that me. little stall in the air with those double jumps because he just sort of waited out an option, did a play blitz right onto the top platform. Mouse was like, yeah, I'm not going to have any part of that at all. Beats at a, at a perilous 201%. It's real heavyweight hours. He's going to press a button. Mouse going to die. Dead. Never mind. He's yeah. gone. Go, Ivysaur. This is actually kind of crazy. Damage. Yeah, like Beast, like Beast can't get Mousecut off of him at all. His disadvantage is terrible. Look at him uh, he bagging. The little froggy is flattening himself out. Okay, so I'm gonna just say this. I love it when players teabag the taunt, and the reason for that is because when they initiate something like that, and you get upset by it, like you said, oh no, oh no. Uh, this happening? might be an F smash. Mousecut would totally run away F smash. No, well, no, he didn't do it that time. Tries to go for Jack down near down smash. Uh, not able to find it, but still at the stage. He's like, dead. So unfortunate. That was so wacky. I don't know what to say about any of that. Uh, anyway, what I did want to say about like teabagging is, I actually think it's just a really great way of getting into your opponent's head. If you do get upset by teabagging, then congrats, your opponent has accomplished a mission. Almost. While somebody's like busy teabagging or taunting, you should be like taking advantage of that and like focusing on and bettering your position, right? But if you just start like counter taunting them and counter teabagging, like you've taken the bait almost, you know? That like shows that you got tilted or disrespected by it. And that's gonna I don't know about all that. I, I think so. Like like when when I see often like uh somebody like taunts mid bracket or starts teabagging mid bracket, right? And the other person looks pissed off. Like they look pissed. Like, they're like, how dare you do this to me? Me? The, the two tour of, of the best player in my <laughs> zip code? And you teabag on me? Unbelievable. In my zip code? Yeah. I don't know um, that. I think French Tutor lives in my lives near me, so. Huh. I did not know that. That's actually quite cool. They live near Dark Blues and French Tutor. Oh, I think they might both. I think they're both out of my zip code. Already video game moves. Game two. Beast once again, second with the Charizard. Uh, definitely did not look so spicy for him the first time around. And like once again, look at this. Even the Switch is not going to be able to help him here, but Squirtle's tiny baby toddler frame is definitely going to help out. 
Here's a question. Uh, so Mousetrap definitely struck PS2. What else did he strike for them to go to battle? Because I would imagine that Beast wouldn't want to fight on battle if he gets Pikachu. Uh, especially because like this is like generally considered a pretty good stage for Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, but it's generally considered a better stage for Pikachu. Really? Okay. Yeah, Pikachu's good everywhere, but it's like, like how much do you want to deal with like his box? That's a good question. Because he can kind of go everywhere. Uh, he can kind of just go everywhere on battlefield and kind of just do a lot of damage on every spot. And yeah. Beast is like the kind of person who wants to force you to interact with him so that he can try to get a uh, a read on you. That was an incredible switch out. He got hit by, you know, two T-Jolts in a row. He was going to get, like, really hit off stage as Ivy. So definitely the perfect time to switch to Charizard and then go through the up beat. That being said, Beast is still in this 178%, you know, can take a stock anytime he wants. That was the drop down back here. I know it. But it's ultimate and it's sticky elbows glue platforms. Yeah, wow. Well, so if I recall correctly, the last time these two played, Mouse Rat did win. And they, they have an even record, but it has been a while since they played. That is, you know. I see. You know, like, this is just completely avoiding him. Mostly because Mouse Rat has generally been second seed and he's been getting upset by other people. <laughs> The retreating back here is really, really smart just to try to bait an out of shield option from Beast. Oh, that's a good up smash. Nice up smash out of shields. Looking for some kind of safe kill option here. But uh, Mousetrap's not really giving it to him. And a nice thunder under the stage. I'm sure that's very annoying to deal with. Yeah, for sure. I like these high recoveries from Beast, like using the flow boots just to get out of the corner for a mouse rat. The last thing you want to be is like a big boy, you know, a thick you know, dragon stuck on the ledge, stuck on the corner against Pikachu. That's an awful okay. place to be in. That's the up throw. Going up. Yeah, you got deleted. What a dash dance. So I understand. The thing is, like, when I see. Oh, no, he didn't snap the ledge because he got hits mm. right at it. That's so unfortunate. So when I see Beast do Flare Blitz from off the stage to get back on, a lot of the time that feels like it's him kind of admitting defeat, that it's like, yeah, I kind of don't have any other option, and if I try to play your game, I feel like I'm going to lose, just take a lot of damage. So let me get the hell out of here. At least that's how it feels to me when I see it. I don't know, because I don't usually see him do that, even when he is being threatened by most characters, but because it's Pikachu, it's really tough for him to get past the character. Little Mouse Rat's like struggling to like extend off of his back use properly. Like yeah, he's getting stage control for it, but I definitely feel like he could optimize his damage output a little bit. Uh, maybe instead of opting through like a forward and afterwards just go through like a dash attack or something, or try to set something up with T Jolt later on. Other that being said, he isn't quite a dominant lead for himself. Um, I really don't know what Beast could do at this point. <sighs> he let that rip like half a second sooner, that would have been stock. Yeah, one foot sooner as a matter of fact. And yeah. Mm -hmm. What a weird angle for me to go for my visa as to match. Yeah. Really it was mostly because he was behind him. What was the handbox? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, just delete the rat. Uh, looks like Beast is committing to Ivysaur. Yeah, definitely working out a whole lot better for him than Charlie's other did. Never uh, mind. Yeah. Where, what's a commitment? I, what? Commitment? I don't know who. Flare Blitz? I know who. Ooh. Oh my god. You see, Beast didn't try to punish it because he knows that Thunder has so little end lag when it hits Pikachu. Which, why? Um, that he wouldn't be able to actually get the hit safely. Yeah, once again, the drag down nail into down smash. Honestly, the way that Charizard is getting popped up, he doesn't have any buttons fast enough to get out of that. He just kind of has to hold that, honestly. Yeah. Was like it's a uh, <sighs> he can go for uppies on the on the reads like if he's like I think he's gonna do this you can go for that but it's still incredibly risky to do it so it's like do you wanna do you wanna take that risk that you're potentially gonna be giving um, Mouse Rat a super heavy punish for what could potentially be a light punish I don't know like right there he went for the upbeat because he was like I think he's gonna try to hit 
and he didn't uh, he didn't hit him at the right moment, and that was it. That was the stock. Mm-hmm. Yep. So this has been kind of on the back leg this whole this whole set so far. I'm really interested in seeing like what kind of adaptation he can make to finish it off. Is he gonna go Mario maybe? We're going to Battlefield, so it seems likely that we're going to Mario. Yep, we're going the we're going the plumber boy. Arguably one of the matchups that Pikachu loses, according to both Mario Mains and Pikachu Mains. They they're just not a fan of it. They don't like getting launched, they don't like mass, and they don't like the uh, the funny Italian fella. Yeah, I could see that. I could see a uh, flood making spacing extremely annoying uh, from far away, especially with quick attack. I can also see Cape just being like really obnoxious. And Mario has like a lot of really good out of shield options. You just kind of throw around a lot of really active hitboxes in the air, especially. Woo! Okay, I respect it. I love the double stall that Mouse got. He hasn't pulled like he hasn't shown that color before. This was definitely unprepared to deal with it. This is definitely um, one of the, the perks of Battlefield is that it does have a super low blast zone. So you're able to actually like do stuff like that much easier with a lot less risk. Beast keeps trying to initiate something off of like a short hop falling aerial, and Mouse has caught on to that extremely appropriately, always just anti airing him, meeting him up in the sky, um, and hitting him for it. Yeah, no, if this is the way that uh, that Mouse Rat's playing the matchup, it really makes sense. Um, this is the kind of thing that annoys players like these who play super aggro. Um, it's just a character that's playing evasive and trying to pick their battles really carefully. And you can see, like, Beast is doing exactly what you're saying. He's, he's teabagging because he's like, this is boring. Approach me. He's entertaining himself. He's just trying to have a good time. Oh, man. Okay. That was really close to being really bad for Mousetrap. Wow, a piece directly into the up smash. But so bizarre, I really would have thought that would have killed at that point. Mario Diner does kill in this game. Which is a really important thing to remember. But apparently it's not strong enough to, to kill at 140 from the, from the second platform. And no, okay, I thought he was gonna back throw, honestly. But I guess back throw wouldn't have killed from mid stage at 150. I feel like either clips back throw can kill at this point. Uh, Mouse God has enough range under his belt. But what move was that? Uh, the, da the up smash actually hit from. He was inside the platform, but his head was still. And there he goes. So you see, you see, by, with Mouse God teabagging like that, to me, that is an indication that Beats got into his head. Because he feels the need to counteract his teabagging instead of doing something else in the moment, you know? Because he wants to sort of make a statement and prove like, oh, I'm not upset by this at all. So you know, the thing is like, like that Beast has won mentally and he might be able to, you know, capitalize a little bit, maybe get mascot a little bit shook, you know? Okay, so I understand that mentality, but like it also depends on the context of the match. Uh, if you're teabagging when you're down, slash when it's even, it can be, it's, it is much less of a statement of, this is this is uh this is boring to me. You're not fun, or or even like you're bad. As it is a statement of wow. Okay, you didn't get hit by that. What to do? Okay, Mouse got every single time a disadvantage is mashing down V because like it initiates so early, and I think it's hilarious, and I love it, and I'm here for it. <sighs> Why? You love some weird stuff. What a stall! That was brilliant. He caped over the Pikachu's head just to cover the rising aerial, and then air dodged past him. That was such a unique way of getting back on, and it worked. Look a at nice him. dash attack. Nice Ooh. dash attack. Nice fireball. Everything but right now Beast is doing is connecting. Ah, he could have gone through the down smash though. But maybe that's only a thing on like heavies. Okay, oh. so he's gonna do up throw, but it's not gonna be enough to kill. But oh, it is gonna get Mario in the air where up air will kill. Mm -hmm. And this is uh this is Mouse Rat's advantage now. Oh, good weights. Pikachu! Pikachu! Oh no, he air dodged! Oh, uh, that's so unfortunate. We just saw three back-to-back -back three O's. That's kind of wild. That's kind of crazy. 
All right, speaking of 3-0s, we have Zach versus Joshathan in Losers. That was a 3-0 for Joshathan. And now we have Jopin versus Vivi, which is 1-1. Um, we'll get to watch the winner of that set fight Joshathan uh, soonish. All right, my question is, should I eat anything else tonight? Should I get some prosciutto? Should I get some turkey breast? Should I get a cheese stick? Or should I not do that because I've had about two slices and pieces of each today? I mean, are you hungry? Uh, not really, but I do like having something edible in my mouth. Weird. All right, weird flex, but okay. I just like having something to chew on, you know? I'm like, All I'm right. just sitting here sometimes.